So we have these two images, um, one from Jet Magazine, one from the Chicago Sun-Times. Mm -hmm. um, in each case, one of the things that strikes the viewer um, in this, and I used an improper term earlier, I, I called it a series, it's a diptych. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Um, and so now as we are looking at these two panels, one of the things that strikes us is your utilization of, of color. Um, could you talk to us about, um, and, and, and the other interesting thing too, I think is even the, 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 the detailing that you choose um, in the presentation of, of Mamie Till Mobley. So I wonder if you might be able to talk about that um, and why you made the decisions about color that you did. Absolutely. So in both panels, Mrs. Till Mobley is the only uh, figure who is rendered in full color and in full detail. Um, and I, I do this as a means, if you're, if you're able to see color, you understand on a different level that she is then the focus, right? If everything around her is monochrome and she is the one in color, um, that puts a specific focus on her. And I really wanted to center her. I was very intentional about centering her in this story. Uh, also um, rendering her in color communicates uh, her blackness. It, it makes very plain that she, this is a black woman and all of this is happening to black people. This is a crime against a black child and his black family. He was lynched because he was black. I won't be very specific about that. And so I, I, I wanted to depict as much as possible um, her blackness in this. So I wanted to make sure that we understand that this is a black woman. Uh, her blackness is important to the story. The crime against her child was committed against him for no other reason than the fact that he was black. Uh, I also wanna talk about how we really need to listen to black women. And so I need to make it very, very clear that her blackness is of import here. Mm her mothering is of import here. And so she is centered um, through color and through composition. Uh, in the first panel where um, Mr. Mobley is behind her, whom she later married after Emmett's death, um, I didn't want to just ignore his grief. This is a father figure to Emmett. And so he, it, I, I wanted to give some, care to his depiction as well. He, in, in the reference photo, he is staring very pointedly at the camera and it's almost as if he's staring at us. And his 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 gaze in into the lens of the camera really does pull us in. And I wanted us to be pulled in by his grief as well. Um, in the second panel, everyone else is an outline. Again, there's this ethereal quality to just rendering people in outlines, but also it communicates that emptiness that I talked about earlier, the emptiness of grief, the emptiness of, of loneliness, the emptiness of, of horror, but also the emptiness of opportunity. We can, we can step in, we can, we can be those, those um, figures around her who hold her up and make sure that there are no more Mamie Till Mobley's 